Well, hey there. Welcome back to another tutorial. This is Bell Methuen. And today, today we're going to take care of those pesky bouncing slimes. Now there is an easy way down in your strip mines to go ahead and harvest all of those annoying slimes that are spawning and taking up all your space and coming and hitting you while you're clearing the area. And we're going to we're going to take a look at how to do it for magma cream as well. All right. So, it's real easy. You can see the entire thing right here. The only thing that's hidden is hoppers under all of these carpets. And just take a look at this. And we'll even throw in some magnas, magmas just for giggles. It's a decent range, all the way out to here. And those may eventually make it into aggro range. In fact, I believe that guy... No, he would be hopping with a lot more purpose. But I have not been testing this very long. Take a look at that. Okay, so to build this, literally all you will need is a 5x5 five five hole, one layer deep, down in your mineshaft, uh, or down in your mineshaft hub, or whatever you want to call it, a piece of sand in the middle, with three cactuses. That just uh, helps with some of the taller jumping ones. On top of that, now, I like to use just a half slab, so we'll go right there. You could use a full block. I just kind of prefer the half slab. You're going to want a ring of fence posts, but keep in mind that in order to make the golem, you're going to have to put this one and this one in after you make the golem. So let's see. Otherwise, it's just not going to work. In fact, I'll even show you. See? No bueno. So, save yourself the trouble. And let's stick that one back because I didn't mean to delete it. So now, with all of, with just the two end ones out, we're good. And then quickly fill those in, because the golem's not really going to move anywhere. And then, uh, we won't need to slat the fence post anymore, so let's grab ourselves a chest. And you're also going to need hoppers going into that chest all the way around. Ooh, let's see if I can do this before they start filling it in. See, they're already going for that one. And you do not actually need to put the uh, carpets on. I just do it because it looks nice. Or I think it looks nice. Uh, you can choose any color. But just doing it like this in your in, down in your quarry kind of makes it blend in a little bit. And then, you know, you could use stone walls, you could use a smooth stone half slab, you could use whatever you want. The blocks you choose don't matter, as long as you've got fences around here so he can't get off, but they can see him. And that's it. That is literally it. And just because this guy's feeling a little bit left out. So, with your mineshaft under your base, while you're up doing things. So, this is what I mean by down at your branch mine. I don't know about you, but uh, I oftentimes, once I have a beacon set up, I will uh, look up and mow down all the way to arm's reach. And collect all the stone, all the andesite, all the granite, and 
find any and all diamonds that could possibly be there. So it's nice to have something to distract these little green annoying guys. And collect tons of slime balls. Literally tons of slime balls passively. And this is down under my base. My base is like right over, right up over there. So, I mean, just while I'm building around the base, these things are collecting slime. It's not a large slime farm, but it's fairly effective. That guy is almost in range. Let's see, I'll just draw his attention on over here. Break line of sight. And now he's no longer interested in me. It doesn't cost a whole lot, especially if you have a, an iron farm. But even if you don't, you're going to get enough iron just doing this mining. That uh, four blocks of iron, not going to be a big deal. Especially if it's collecting you a passive cache of slime balls. This can quite frankly just be passively getting you a bunch of slime. And if you put one of these somewhere in the nether, um, like I personally have them in my pigment farm. On my Let's Play series, I put a couple of these, I believe four of them, on my uh, Il, Mango, Il Mango's Pigman Donut design. And uh, I did them in the inner ring where the glass usually goes. And the magma creams, instead of going out and off to their death, they come in, die on the cactus, and give us their magma cream. I figure if they're going to spawn there, if they're going to be annoying, we might as well get drops from them, right? Especially if you're going to be AFKing at your pigman farm overnight for experience. And or gold. Alright, so hitbox is on with the F3B. So, very rare chance maybe something will hit inside that, that uh, hitbox. Very unlikely though. At least I have not seen it yet in this configuration and as you can see they do come they do not stop going after them well I hope you like the slime farm de design it's not the world's most efficient but it is a passive source and hopefully a way to get rid of those nuisances that are slimes both in your pigment farm and down in your branch mine yeah see how easy that took care of them Let's see, can I aim down? I can aim down. <laughs> yeah. You can space, I mean, you can space these things out a good 60, 60 or 70 blocks apart. So you don't have to have a huge amount of them. And eventually the slimes will make their way all the way over to them. And you can collect all of their green goodness. And all of the red goodness over on the pigment farms I mean really if you're gonna have a branch mine and or a pigment farm why wouldn't you why wouldn't you set up this two-minute build but I guess anyway and if you liked what you saw learned a thing or two go ahead leave a like leave a comment subscribe I've got a uh, fairly long let's play series a uh, little bit of the world you just saw. I've also got uh, ARC series, a couple of them, including a current one that is ARC ATA, which is ARC all the ascensions, all the achievements, all the ARCs. I'm going to do everything in the game. It's going to take a long time. It's going to be a lot of episodes. It's going to be a lot of fun. And we're also working with Ast Astroneer. We're going to do some Seven Days to Die. We're going to do some uh, Subnautica, I believe, in the future, too. Uh, we're just going to play around with a whole bunch of different survival-type games. Because that's what we like on this channel. So, I guess until next episode, when hopefully your green and red pesk solution is implemented, hope everyone has a great night.